If you're having a good time, SpaceX is going to delay the mission if there are any technical concerns before launch. And that's exactly what happened to the Polaris Dawn crew. A helium leak meant they had to uh, postpone the launch. Scrub the launch. Scrub it. All right. Well, you may remember a repeated helium leak is what delayed the Boeing Starliner crew and eventually stranded them on the ISS. But in that case, SpaceX will be coming to their rescue. Sherelle Hubbard has more on both missions. What do a billionaire, two engineers, a former Air Force pilot, and a couple of NASA astronauts have in common? They're all a part of two of the most exciting and risky missions in the universe. Space is hard. Uh, and you better not mess it up. A SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule is set for its next mission, called Polaris Dawn, a five-day SpaceX private trip manned by four civilians. Jared Isaacman, the billionaire, his friend and the mission's pilot, retired Air Force pilot Scott Poteet, and two SpaceX engineers, Anna Minnan and Sarah Gillis. So Polaris is all about accelerating the technology development. The crew is set to do roughly 40 science experiments, attempt a high-risk spacewalk, and test some brand new SpaceX developed space suits. We are all really confident that, you know, some iteration of it is going to be worn by somebody walking on Mars someday, and, and that just makes it even more of a privilege to be part of it. The four plan to travel as far as 870 miles from Earth, 620 miles farther into space than the International Space Station. That's where astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are stuck. After problems, including the thrusters on their Boeing Starliner spacecraft, stopped working. NASA announced Saturday that a SpaceX Crew-9 Dragon spacecraft will come to their rescue. NASA always has contingency options. The NASA astronauts now slated to return next February. I'm Sherelle Hubbard reporting.